One of my favorite parts about my job is that I always get to learn new and exciting full finishing techniques. And here to share his latest new technique with us is Gary Lord. Hey, Gary, how are hey, you? I'm great. Good. It's good to have you back, Gary. As always, thank you. Okay, now new finish. You have a brand new mm -hmm. finish that you've just developed. Effervescent. Effervescent. Indeed. Okay, wonderful. Let's. Ooh, this is gorgeous, Gary. Thank you. It's a combination of using metallic foils and this treatment that makes these little teeny bubbles in the background. Therefore, the effervescent. Very good. I love this, though. I love the color contrast and. The metallic is just phenomenal. Yeah, it's uh, using a gold and a bronze metallic foil. Of course, you could use any colors to go with your own decor. This right, is just a right. sample that we have made up. Right, which is always the big thing whenever you're watching any of Gary's finishes. Is always just remember, you can adapt it to your own decor and your own colors. Exactly. Okay, how do we get started? Okay, the first thing that you want to do is have a, like a satin eggshell base coat on your wall. Okay. And then you're going to use a clear glazing medium tinted to your decor colors. I'm using a sort of a lavender and a uh, green color myself. Okay. And you could roll these on the wall, you could brush them on the wall, you could do this on furniture, whatever. Sure. But so I, if we were doing a wall, would we, we would be using a roller then? That's probably. Not, I'd use like a four inch wide roller personally. But you can see I'm applying it fairly sheer and mm -hmm. it's in a vertical method. Uh, but I'm not um, applying it everywhere because I want to blend two colors wet into wet. Okay. Now I take my second color of my choice. In this case, it's sort of this phthalo blue-green color, mm -hmm. and I'm blending them together. So um, sort of like food, they are allowed to touch, and Good. I want them to blend in this case. So now, if you were using a roller, would they, would they still blend the same? Yeah, because I use two hands. I actually literally just go like this with two rollers and a crisscross and work oh. up and down. So it's okay. pretty quick all in all. Okay. And then... Now, you just really just muddle it to, like, your own taste. Yeah, what I want to do is keep separation of color. So okay. you can really see I'm using two colors, but you're going to okay. get a segue, which creates a tertiary color. And that's what I'm looking for. Is, so when I'm done, I sort of have these two, three, four colors in there okay. by interblending them. Okay. Now I take a strie brush, and I will push real hard. And I have to do this, obviously, while my glaze is wet on right, the surface. Right. And I'm pushing down, and I draw a vertical line down the area. I've already blended them with with my application, but this stray now creates my lineal pattern that you can see. Okay, and it's just softening that too. Look at how much it's softening. It does soften it. It pulls some of the color up. Ultimately, my tool will become saturated with color. Right. And I we'll need, need to, to take a rag off. as I go, and then I'll go back to the process again. Okay. Also, I'm short, so what I end up doing on a job is I may attach this to a little pole, so okay. I can just stand there and pull so it down with the pole. So we just keep pulling it down. Right. Okay. So now the next step is I need to take my denatured alcohol, and I will take this while this is still wet, okay. and I will spatter it onto the surface. You can see on the craft paper how much right, I'm actually getting. getting. You can't see so much on here, so it's, it's good. You can even sponge on material. Okay, to make sure you get enough on there. Right. Okay, now what is that going to do? Well, what that does, once that sits for about a minute or two, it gets... Um, so you can take a brush and brush through it, and you can see all these little bubble oh, wow. movements. Oh, it just completely creates a textured look. Right. So it creates this little, like, moon, lunar moonscape sort of a movement to the material. You can see the harder you push, the more pronounced those little lines become. Oh, wow. That is so beautiful. It's very interesting. It's a chemical reaction between the two processes. Okay. So now the next thing I need to do is I need to take my... Um, it's a sizing agent. It's a gold leaf size. A lot of people use it for uh, gold leafing. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's the same thing. Okay. And so I want to create a random pattern. You're I could do. You're going to paint that on here. I am, and I could do any kind of pattern I want. I could do long vertical lines like what I'm doing now. I could write my name. I could paint butterfly wings. I okay. could do anything I wanted to do. Now, once you get that on there, is it we let this set up and then it's time for the um, foil? Yes, what ends up happening is this gets tacky, and you can hear the tack on this material. Okay, that's your snap factor. Oh, you're so good. And so then you take your foil, okay. you crumple it up, and uncrumple it, and use the shiny side up. Okay. Lay it onto the surface, take a little scrub brush, just scrub it down, and peel it up. Oh, wow. And then you could even do another color right on top of it. Same deal. 
And just keep overlaying any of the foils that you want. Right. And then just peel it up. Okay. And there's your look. All right. Let's take one la last look, Carrie, at our finished board with the two colors. I love that. This is really great. And it's so easy to do. And you can do any colors for your own decor. This is really awesome. Thank you so much for sharing this with us. This is really, this is really fun. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. This is great. And you could also do it in like a silver metallic too. Silver, pewter, copper, bronze. All right. Well, thanks so much for sharing this with us, Gary. Thank you. And so I much. hope that you enjoyed Gary's technique and you'll take a little foil to your walls.